Hello everyone, I'm going to show you an example of how to use the HMI controller for the Arduino and this example, in this example we're going to use a car and we're going to measure and change some variables in this car uh, those variables are the engine frequency of rotation there are PM, revolutions per minute the fuel level, the water temperature, the engine status they're gonna, we're going to know if the engine is off or on we're going to use a bottom to turn on the engine and other bottom to turn off the engine. We're going to sense uh, and know how is the four doors of the car, if they are open or closed. Uh, we're going to use a switch for turn on or off the lights of the car. And we're going to uh, change the intensity of the lights. Okay, now we're going to take a look of how to connect the Arduino with the breadboard and the components that we're going to use for this example. Uh, we're going to use the Bluetooth model to communicate with the Android device. Uh, the first uh, potentiometer we're going to use here is for the engine RPM, revolutions per minute. The second uh, potentiometer is for the water temperature. This trimmer is for um, the fuel level. Uh, we're going to use four push buttons. Each one is for the for for a door, for the door 1, door 2, door 3 and door 4. And we're going to use two LEDs. The yellow one is for the lights of the car and we are going to connect it to one of the PWM pins. And the other, this green LED is for the engine status. If the engine is is on so this led must be on. Once you have connected all the components in your breadboard and connected to Arduino so the next step is to the download if you don't have it installed in your computer you have to download a special Arduino IDE uh, that is compatible with the HMI controller you can download it from the web page and we're gonna open a template the template Bluetooth software serial this file is also uh, available in the web page so you can download it from there the first thing that we're gonna do is to uh, put a mask over the pins that we're gonna use in the Arduino so we're gonna use four doors they're gonna be four pins that are gonna you uh, they're gonna work as um, input so the first one is in door one pin and that's gonna be the pin number four door two Seven. Okay, those are the four pins that are gonna use a, a deep switch or a push button. Uh, we're also gonna use two LEDs, and they're gonna work like the lights of the car and for the engine status so or for the engine if we want to turn on or off the engine this this light is going to indicate that so we're going to say end uh, engine pin you're going to use the pin number two and for the lights we're going to use the pin number three Okay, then we go down here in setup and we're gonna declare it as an input or output. So, like we always do this in, in a Arduino sketch, so it's the same thing. So, so, there's nothing different from here. The one pin is an input. And we're gonna do the same for the for the output pins. Okay, now we're gonna declare the variables that we're gonna use for the HMI. So these variables are gonna be the first one is the the engine RPM, the fuel level and the water temperature we're also gonna need uh, 
a light intensity and for for the push button that we're gonna use for for turn on and turn off the engine we're gonna use uh, boolean variables false okay uh, we need a variable for the for the switch that's gonna control the lights so lights there it is and the last variable is gonna be um, engine status stats okay it's gonna be false now we're gonna uh, attach these variables with the HMI controller system so with this is gonna allow us that the application uh, recognize every every single uh, variable that you're using in your sketch so we're gonna say HMI attach int out and the first argument is going to be the variable that we're going to attach we're going to attach an int variable so it's an engine rpm and the second argument is going to be the name tag but the name tag can only be a character so we're going to use the letter a and we do the same with the other with these other variables those are as an output variable so they are getting uh, from the Arduino to the to be display displayed in the in the program in the Android application but what if we need uh, some variables that we're gonna read from the Android device to the Arduino? So if we need to send a variable to the Android device, we're gonna use other function. There is attach int in. So this is gonna be the light intensity and name tag D. With this we're gonna say that uh, everything that's gonna change in the HMI controller application is gonna is gonna save it in, into the lights intensity variable. If for example if we have in, in the application uh, 50 uh, so this variable is gonna turn 50 okay so it's everything that's coming from from the Android. Uh, we're also gonna attach the the boolean variables so we're gonna use the turn on engine and we're gonna use this uh, name tag the uh, capital A Remember that this variable is going to be uh, from the Android device and with this are going to to the Android device, to and from. The next thing that we're going to do is to um, read the analog pins of the Arduino, uh, the pins that we're using to, to read the RPM, the water temperature and the fuel level. So it's an engine RPM equal to an no, analog read read zero because the this potential I have this potentiometer connected to the pin zero. From here we can connect to the HMI application and it will work. But we're gonna write a code. Uh, we're gonna do some process here. So, if the lights zero, okay. Uh, if we turn on the lights, we're gonna uh, write 
uh, the intensity of the of the light in the light pin. So remember that in the light pin we're using a LED. Uh, if the lights is uh, they are off, so we're gonna turn off the LED. We're gonna write if we're gonna turn on and turn off the engine. So. Here it is. If the turn on engine uh, button is, is pressed, so we're going to turn the engine. And we, if we press the turn on engine but, uh, push button, it's going to turn on the, the engine and of course if we turn uh, if we press the turn off engine it's gonna turn it off the last thing we're gonna use here is we're gonna use an F here a conditional statement and we're gonna say um, okay okay we're gonna say engine status Okay, we're gonna do uh, other condition conditional here, and it's gonna if we if we get a water temperature over three hundred, uh, the engine is gonna is gonna turn off. Okay. Okay, and and that's all the code. For this uh, example, uh, now we're gonna upload it to the Arduino board. Um, and next step, I'm gonna show you how to configure the, all the application and, and to make the communication possible. Okay.